the killing of Osama bin Laden is a failure to me because the negative retroaction of that will be enormous. The amount of hatred and people that will die as a result of that. So the killing of one man never destroys a value system. It destroys that person. But the value system goes on. Racism, bigotry, stupidity are part of the problem. Stupidity means lack of information regarding certain types of problems. When you read in a book that revenge is sweet, and if that takes as a system, it hurts people. Therefore, all that type of literature has to go to the extent that we raise our children with artificial values that will produce harm in the future. You think, well, they're only children. I don't think it's that necessary. Well, war, guns, the possession of guns are partly nurtured by our culture. And guns give people a sense of power a false sense of power. Real sense of power is delivery of information that's relevant to people. Well, of course, you don't sense it right away. You don't feel a glorious feeling doing that. But really, it's a long-term investment. And all short-term investments may appear to solve problems, but they only perpetuate problems into the future. A major problem with the world's people today as they believe that human values and behavior and decisions are made within a human being. Actually, this is not the case. That's a major cause of most of the world's problems. It is the environment they're reared in. If you cannot understand that, think of the language you use and the values you have and the attitudes about a good old USA. If you brought up in Iran, the value system would be different. Your language would be different. Therefore, it is not within the human being to know the difference between what you would call operant behavior or useful behavior or useful values. All your values are inculcated by environment, the books you read, the motion pictures you see, the role models you have. Therefore, human beings are not I repeat this, are not responsible for their values. They are learned. And if you don't understand that, you should become more familiar with the effects of environment on human behavior. The very fact that they used to burn witches in Salem, Massachusetts, might mean that within that area, most people were brought up with such a value system. The notions of heaven and hell come from books and other people. Your language comes from your environment. Possibly the difference between a Roman and a Greek would be the environment they're reared in. If you don't understand that, you need a lot of education, a lot of information, and you'll have to seek it. We have to seek information that's relevant to people, not information that's based upon opinion, folk ways, hand down values, or feelings of good and bad. All those feelings of good, bad, right, wrong are all learned. Everything is learned. If you still don't understand that, look back at the words you use, and you'll find that they're words that you picked up from your environment. An Englishman speaks with an English accent, not because he's English, because he's been exposed to that environment and those sounds of words. An Australian speaks like an Australian because he's brought up in an environment that utilizes that dialogue. A northerner, a southerner speaks different than a northerner. And if you still don't understand that, that's the best I can do. We reflect our culture. Osama bin Laden is dead, but the value system that produced him is not. It's quite alive. And uh, that goes for the Nazis, the Ku Klux Klan, the White Citizens Council. The value system is still alive. What is needed is not assassinations, not murder, not killing. No armies or navies 
to solve problems. What is really needed is a change in our values. I believe in the Bible you'll find a section where Jesus Christ mentions, he who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. I don't know what the word sin means, but I do know this. Erroneous values can cause un unbelievable suffering amongst people. And we 